phone's off or anything, my right. Um, we are joined by Creighton and head coach Kirsten Burke, Paul Booth, student athletes Samantha Bonet, Taryn Cloth, and Megan Ballinger. Uh, we will start with an opening statement from Coach, and then we will open the floor for questions from everyone or for everyone. Coach. Well, first of all, I think hats off to South Dakota. I told the team that, that was a good team that we beat tonight, and um, they they played, I thought, phenomenal. I just thought we played pretty well, particularly. Um, you know, I thought in games one and two we were just really clean. I thought they dug the ball. Um, and game three is kind of what I thought the whole match could be because, you know, you know, I thought we played good but maybe not quite as clean. And I thought they got their momentum. Um, and I think we were really fortunate to sneak out uh, with that third game or you never know what's going to happen. But excited for Leanne and, and the South Dakota program making the tournament. And congrats to them on, on a great season. Um, like I said, I thought we played pretty well tonight. I thought we were clean. I thought our offense looked good. I thought we moved the ball around well. Um, not perfect, but you know it's a game of errors. So um, good to get the first. I think this is a, a very stressful uh, situation sometimes, the first match. And I thought we played very calm. So that was good to see. And hopefully that'll give us some momentum going to play a very good Washington team tomorrow night. Questions? I guess for any of the players, uh, the energy didn't seem like nervous energy tonight. Um, just, I guess, compared to dealing with all the firsts that you went through last year, of, um, compared to how you, you seemed pretty locked in from the jump tonight. Yeah, I mean, I think this is kind of the standard for our program now um, to host. You know, I'm expect to be here. So um, it's definitely a change, I guess, from when we first got here. Definitely the first two years we were here. But um, it's kind of, you know, we expect that, and we're kind of comfortable in that, which is really nice. Plus, our fans make it easy to prepare because they show up every single game. So that energy and that support that they give us is pretty consistent. So that's something that we thrive off of, that we get to experience throughout the year. So it's a comfortable environment. And we need that to get that energy going. So I think it pumps us up more than that nervous energy. And I think, yeah, it's pretty good. And hosting last week's Big East Tournament, I think that was a big deal for us, just trying to getting us in the mode of tournament time. Mm -hmm. South Dakota seemed like kind of scrappy, you know, like you guys would <clears throat> hit a couple pretty good ones and they find a way to dig it out. What was it like just sort of staying engaged to the point? And yeah, I mean, you have it. to find a different spot. They were covering the floor really well. They got a lot of digs, but um, I think we started to really move it around a lot more and hit different zones, mix it up, uh, tips, rolls, and I think that's what led to success. How much did you guys talk about that sort of? They're just their makeup, you know, that they were going to be kind of uh, you know, tough to maybe get it past. Go ahead. Um, yeah, I think we talked about it a little bit. It's, I mean, it's hard to kind of know until you're in the match, I guess you would say. And you're kind of, all right, I'm taking three swings to get a kill. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, from that aspect, it was frustrating, but um, you just got to work harder, I guess, work harder to transition and swing again. Right. Kudos to our hitters, too, because it's really hard because when a team's waiting for you to make the error, I think, um, yeah, yeah, like they they have so much pressure on them to put the ball away, and uh, three, four swings later, you're like, way to find another spot on the court, like it's it's working. So um, they just got to keep going at it. So kudos to our hitters too for making it work. Coach, how did you guys get the block going? Maybe the way through that first set, there, it really, you know, touches were hard to come by, and then obviously blocks, but it seemed like Carr got a couple and fired everybody up, and then they just started kind of snowballing from there. I guess. Is there anything that changed? Or? Yeah, no, I, I wish I could take credit for some <laughs> genius thing that I said. No, I mean, I think we're a good blocking team, and, you know, it wasn't anything that was said during the match, but, you know, they do a good job of sealing. And we knew, we knew this is a team that we thought we could get blocks on if we put a, a good sealed block, but we also knew, and I think you saw number six do this a little bit, and number three, we also knew it was a team that could tool us if we weren't putting up strong blocks and they'd go after, you know, either – either low seam or at our hands a little bit. And I think you saw them have some success doing that. I mean, you were next to Kari on a few of those. And how much of a jolt did that, guys, did that give you, you know, in, in that area of the game uh, when she was able to get a few? And obviously she's really emotional when she, when she gets them that kind of energy. Yeah, um, I mean, I think you see her pump everyone up, blocking, off the court, really anywhere um, she is. but. Um, yeah, it's fun. It's fun to block next to her. She dives a lot and um, takes risks, so then you see her come up with big blocks, I think. So she's only gotten better blocking-wise, so we just we rely on her a lot to set the block out there, and she's done a great job. Taryn, uh, 
to add something to this that you're taking on the old man school? Um, no, I mean, I was just excited to be here. I was excited that we drew South Dakota. It was a nice close distance that a lot of people could attend. I mean, you saw how many fans we had, but I'm more just excited that we, we got the job done. You kind of got on a finishing kick there when they got to within one with the block, uh, I think two kills. I mean, what were you kind of feeling there? Did you kind of feel like you had to get a little extra there to help close it out? Uh, I don't necessarily think that I had to be the extra little jolt of energy. I think Kari does a lot of that, so <laughs> <laughs> she kind of takes that over. But um, no, I think that we did a great job of our passers, put, the, put Madeline on the net, and she distributed well, so. I'd say this is probably a pretty emotional roller coaster of a week for you. You were going like, back to last Friday, what, you were, what was going through your mind? It's a miracle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I would, yeah, it's, it's a Christmas miracle. No, um, honestly, super blessed to have the trainer that we have. She worked so hard on us, and she committed so much time to me this week to do pool workouts and get me back in motion. Um, and I was just really focused on making sure that I wasn't consumed with thinking about my knee because I wanted to play. Um, to the best of my ability to get our team to win, and I wanted everyone around me to feel comfortable with me on the court. Um, so, yeah, super blessed that I'm back. I'm so glad I'm not finishing my senior year on the bench, but um, it was awesome to be part of it with these gals, and I'm not ready to be done yet, so super exciting. Yeah. I guess, you know, you were diving around a little bit in practice, so I imagine that kind of probably put that in your mind that you, you could do it, but mm -hmm. was the first – I mean, I think you're, you're first, you come in to serve, and then your first point, you had three takes. So they were coming right after you mm -hmm. right away. Like, oh, yeah. does that kind of help you guys get rid of all of that, all those thoughts, like what if thoughts, I guess? Uh, yeah, I, I knew that if I didn't go into the game confident with myself and my teammates around me, um, that. Sorry. <laughs> 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 if I did go into the game with uh, my teammates confident with me on the court that um, it was going to get in my head a little bit. So, um, yeah, they did awesome pumping me up and um, made me feel comfortable when I was ready to play. So I've been good all week, and, um, yeah, I'm excited. For all three, for all three of you girls, uh, obviously, you know, with, with uh, what you saw earlier today, you know, from Washington this afternoon, what, what did you see from them? What do you expect moving forward, obviously, from I mean, you can obviously tell physically Washington's a really big team, so um, we're going to have to figure out ways to hit high and tool off hands and just trying to figure out a different way, I guess, to score. Um, but Washington's a great team. I mean, we're going to have to come out fighting, but, yeah, we have to play clean. How are you guys staying loose out on the court knowing that it's a winner-go-home scenario every time from now on out? I think it helps when people smile on the court because it just kind of relaxes everybody. And as soon as you look like you're confident, other people are going to follow. And they just know that we have this. Like, we can do this and have confidence in ourselves and in the team. And they've done it so many times. They, they know they can do it. We, we were actually watching something yesterday talking about you do something so many times. Fear is not a, a factor because you're so comfortable in the situation. I know you touched on the crowd a little bit, but I heard some of the Washington girls when they're leaving too saying just how awesome that your fans are here. Just kind of touch on that energy you guys have here. Um, I mean, it was great. It was loud, um, sellout crowd, I think. I mean, it's easy to get pumped up, I think, in front of this. I mean, it's our home crowd too, so it makes it even better. Um, but it's it's so loud. I mean, at points in time, I don't think we could hear yeah. in the huddle. I was like, I cannot hear what she's saying at all. But um, it's so. I mean, but it makes it fun. It makes it a lot of fun. But it makes um, it a lot better. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. So well, it was you can hear what a poacher is saying. Yeah. Oh no. I was I like up in your craw. Yeah. I could so not hear. It. Grace had to translate for me. Because I she is closer to coach. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, I could a post yeah. After the huddle. Our fans too are so loyal to us, and I think. Um, they they treat us like family, like they know us, like as real people. So it's really easy to interact with them, and they want to see us go as far as possible. And I think people will make the trip wherever we go. So it's really exciting to have those people that just latch on to a team like this and give us all that confidence in the world. So it's super exciting to have that energy. And Wit and I were talking at the first like ten points of the game, and we were like. My heart is beating out of my chest. It's like when the football players say they see their helmet shaking. It's like that feeling. But we don't have the helmet, obviously. <laughs> it's like, we're just like, okay, whew, calm down. Like, breathing is key. So it's super cool to have fans like that that back you up. So. Got time for two more questions. 
Darren, I know obviously, like you said, you saw all the South Dakota fans. I know you had this was a business thing for you, but to see that many red, that much red in the stands, see how passionate your home state was for volleyball. I know coaches said you're a proud South Dakota. How's that gonna make you feel? I'm a really proud South Dakota. <laughs> um, I am really proud of USD and kind of their first uh, trip to the tournament, and we got to see them play and play against them and see how many people they had an entire row and a half. Uh, dedicated to their fans, and I think it just shows how much volleyball is growing in the state of South Dakota. Taryn touched on it, but Coach, can you kind of touch on the matchup with Washington? Well, really, I mean, almost the antithesis of South Dakota. Um, you know, big, physical, you know, really good terminating out of system. Um, you know, we're going to have our hands full. It's a great team, well coached. Um, it should be a great match. Hopefully both teams will play their best, and we'll see how the chips fall. Coach, athletes, thank you. Thank you.